everybody. How are you? It's Leslie from Scrapping Life Away. Good to see you all. Happy September 2017. This video is part of a video hop that is being hosted by Peg Robinson and it's the um, hashtag, primitive, hashtag primitive video hop. So while I was trying to decide what I was going to do, something kind of landed right on my desk and I thought how appropriate um, for this hop and we can interpret it any way we want. I was watching TV one evening and I ended up taking some twine and just rolling it, I don't know, 10 times, one, two, three, I'm going to say 10 times, I'm not going to count it at all, but <clears throat> like 10 times just around like, I can't remember if it was three or four fingers, but well, I can tie it now, it was three fingers. Just wrapped it around and then tied it off with a piece of string. And I figured at some point um, it would come in handy. And I think it will come in very handy because um, this is a natural fiber. It's twine. Um, so I took it. And this is what I got. I just kind of pulled it apart. The little petals apart and I made a flower out of it. So what I then did was I then took a button and I used some um, of my thread, DMC thread from when I used to um, do counted cross stitch. See that it's loose. Just kind of filled the, so that way, the, you know, the holes are done. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and glue that on there. If I can get the glue to the glue cap to not stick on my fingers. And if I can get the glue out of here, I had it upside down so that it would be primed and ready to go for y'all. You know, things don't always go as planned. But while I'm gluing this, um, I just want to thank Peg for, <clears throat> excuse me, for inviting me to be part of this hop. Um, I appreciate it. Um, I love, I'm excited to do this. Okay, so there's one. But you know, I didn't do just one because you know, actually I have handfuls of them. I did, I made three of, I pulled apart three of them for you. So let's get these glued on here. But I know it's been quite a while since I've done any kind of um, video work. It's been a pretty uh, rough summer for our family but we're getting through it just fine for the most part. Um, I'll go into that in, in more detail probably in another video. But, all right, so my buttons are all glued on here and I use Fabri-Tac glue because this stuff will hold anything down. I'm a huge um, Fabri-Tac uh, fan. So, all right, so these are gonna set. So, I have plans for these. I have some fabric here that um, I pulled out of my fabric container. Uh, actually, out of my fabric scrap container, um, I had gotten some fabric scraps from a friend of mine, uh, Jerry Bellini, and because I really didn't have many fabric scraps because I'm really not that much of a sewer, but I found some really cool colors here. I'll kind of hold them up for you to see. 
And these are three and a half inch by three and a half inch squares. Are those pretty colors? All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew these together to make a little home for my flowers. So let me sew these all together and I'll be right back. Okay, friends, I'm back. And I have sewn together my pieces of fabric that were so that I got from Jerry. Don't you just love those colors? I just love them. But won't these look really cute on here? I turn it this way, you can see it better. But I had an idea. I know, don't, you know, don't go crazy or anything. I had a thought. Might surprise some people, but I did. Wouldn't that look pretty on that? Or better yet, wouldn't this look better on here? And if I folded this over to make a loop for, to make it a wall hanging? Oh, who would have thought? I did. All right, so what I've done is I've got this canvas and I have no idea the name brand of this. Um, I got it probably at Michael's or Joanne's, probably Michael's. So let me put that off to the side. Let me show you what I'm doing. Oh, okay. I took some wire here from, um, it's just your run of the mill um, floral wire, silver. And I am in the process of a tangled mess, <laughs> but I'm in the process of wrapping this twine, which is the same twine I made the flowers out of. I'm, I've, I swear to God, I've got this huge mess going on here. Um, let me untangle this and I will show you what I'm doing. Hold on. Okay. I've got it untangled. I'm going to bring this up so you can see it. This is just that floral wire. I've got one end of the twine clipped off here so I don't lose my tail. But what I'm doing here, just to make it more cohesive with the um, theme, I'm just taking this and I'm just wrapping it around the floral wire. And then when I get up to this end over here, I'm just going to um, tie that in a bow. And then I will. Um, slip that through before the um before I put all of this onto that that um burlap so let me get finished um with this and I'll show it to you when I'm finished be right back okay I got the twine wrapped around the wire and then I tied a nice little bow at the top and I did put some Fabri-Tac back here just to tack that knot so that um, it stays. And this fabric tack will dry clear, so I'm not too worried about that. But now, won't that be a nice little hook, you know, for, the, for that burlap to hang on? So let me get this all set up. I'm gonna put the flowers on last. I wanna get this attached to my burlap and I wanna get this attached to the top of my burlap and then we'll put the flowers on. So let me get this all attached and we'll be right back. Whoo, hello there. Boy, have I got a mess going on in this desk of mine. All right, I have just tacked my fabric on and I just have this bent over here um, so that this will fit in here and it will slide so that I can get this centered. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna flip this down and I'm going to sew up here, actually sew down here, so that this um, closes and will act as a, a pocket for this to hang from. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the same at the bottom. Oops, at the bottom there. And then um, I'm gonna go ahead and sew along the edges here to tack this down 
want to make it stay on there for good. And then after I do that, we'll come back and we'll glue our flowers on. And then our primitive piece will be all done and ready to show. So I'll be back in just a minute. Let me get this sewn on for you. Okay, friends, I am back. I have attached my um, my fabric to the, what do you call this again? Burlap. And this is all sewn on nice. And um, this is really turned out just adorable. So now what we're going to do is we're going to attach our flowers to our little squares. To me, this just says primitive, and I also think it's adorable. I think it'd be an adorable wall hanging. So let's go ahead and get my Fabri-Tac out here. I have bubbles. But, okay. Shaker, shaker, shaker. Yes, I know I need more Fabri-Tac. I need new Fabri-Tac just about out. I'm just trying to get it to the end. Use every last bit of it. All right, I think we're finally down to the very end of this glue. It's really, I'm gonna have to go get my other one. Hold on a second, I'll be right back. Okay, I got my new bottle of Fabri-Tac out, and um, yeah, it's coming out hot and heavy here. But I'm just going to get a glob of that on there. And I'll put a glob on here. I don't want it going anywhere. And I'll put a glob on this one. Technical term, a glob. How much glue do you want? A glob. Okay. So now I'm going to turn this over. Center it in there. This one. Center it on there. And push down. And the same with this one. So there you go, my friends. Here is my take on some primitive artwork that I just think is absolutely adorable. And I'm trying to get this in the shot as best I can. It's a little long uh, lengthwise. But here that is. Isn't that adorable? Woo! It is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So there we go. Thank you so much, Peg, for um for inviting me to take part in this in this uh, video hop. Huh? I hope you've all enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope it inspires you to go out and do something creative. Thanks, everybody, and have a really great night. Bye bye. Hi friends, the best way to navigate the video hop is after you have finished watching my video, you can just click on the video underneath mine listed in the description below. When you have come all the way around back to my video, you know that you will have completed the entire video hop. And I really hope that you've enjoyed it. We've all put a lot of work and time into this. Have a great night.